Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Emily and welcome back to another writing vlog. We don't really have any theme for this writing vlog, it's just we are getting caught up on stuff. It is Wednesday, August 9th. I am right in the middle of running a Kickstarter for the C at the end of everything. And so this vlog's just gonna kinda keep me accountable because trying to be responsible and on top of my writing while I'm doing a Kickstarter is nearly impossible. But this thing's gonna last a month, so we better get on top of stuff. So far this month, I have written 1,800 words. Those have all been on the fantasy romance book. I have a goal of finishing that fantasy romance book this month. Yes, it is the ninth. Yes, I am 35,000 words in, and I think it will be at least double that. I wrote 100,000 words in June. This should be no problem. I hope. But the goals for this month are finish the fantasy romance book, finish editing Project Grandfather, aka Thistle. If you're not caught up on that, I drafted the entire thing. It's 130,000 words. And then I realized it needs a lot of developmental edits. It needs some of the fight scenes to be cut out or cut down. The pacing is really bad. I'm about a quarter of the way through the edits, I think, but I'm approaching the part that is going to be the hardest to fix, which is that crappy middle section of the book that's always really hard to do. Gotta fix that, and that middle section is a good 50,000 words. So I'm not as excited about that, more excited about the fantasy romance. It's so cute and cozy and adorable, and I really hope people like it. I have not had good luck with trying to find fantasy romance books to read. The last couple I picked up were not good. The one I picked up a couple days ago, I think, um, mentally scarred me. Why? Why? <sighs> I'm writing in this genre and I, st I can't find any good books. I have read a few. I can't tell you what they are, but I know I've read a few. I will say that the Kickstarter for The Sea at the End of Everything is doing fantastically and imagine when I run a Kickstarter for a book that's actually marketable. Couldn't be me. We'll see how that ever goes. That is where we are. That is what we're doing. I have no idea how long this vlog is going to be. It's going to go until it gets too long. But right now, we got to get back to doing social media. It's Friday, August 11th. I have not much to report. One thing, though. So I don't trust hype about books. You may know this about me. Uh, hype about books gives me Akatar and Lightlark. I, I don't trust hype about books. I have been wrong about this because Six of Crows is sitting right there and I heard about that book for such a long time and I was like, surely it cannot be very good. I don't like heist books. It can't be good. If you have existed on this channel for any amount of time, you'll know that is my prop. Well, it's one of my favorite series of all time. I love those books. The show took a dive. I love those books so much. Okay. So sometimes the hype is correct. Most of the times it isn't. So in that vein, I had been seeing this uprooted by Naomi Novik. I had been seeing this for a long time. On BookTok, on BookTube, on Goodreads, everywhere. It's got a lot of reviews. It's really popular. I'm like, eh, eh. The cover's kind of weird. The cover's pretty, but it's like kind of weird. And it look kind of reads like a fantasy romance. And I've read so many bad fantasy romances. And that didn't stop me from reading other bad fantasy romances. But I was like, this is too hyped. Surely it cannot be good. But one day I was bored and I read the sample chapter on Amazon. I read the first. I read the first chapter and I was like, this is really good. The writing is fantastic. Surely it cannot continue in this manner. But there was a used copy for like $3 on Amazon and I was already ordering stuff. So I was like, you know, I'll just throw it in. I don't buy books. I have been burned too much. I don't buy books, but it was like $3. Who was gonna tell me? Was nobody I trust going to tell me how good this is? I listened to a podcast called Unresolved Textual Tension. It's hilarious. I would recommend it. They do book reviews. And the guy on there one time said that the only person who should be able to write books is Naomi Novik. And I was like, that seems, that seems mean. That seems over the top. That seems mildly dramatic. No, he's correct. The only person who should be able to write books is Naomi Novik. The writing is spectacular. The characterization is amazing. The plot is fantastic. Not for a single moment did I know where this plot was going to go, but every time it made a twist, it made exact sense. Do you know how hard that is to do? I aspire to grow up and write like this. This single-handedly made me more inspired to write my fantasy romance, and this is like 10% fantasy romance. It's barely there. This book will live rent-free in my head for a very long time. There are a few things 
that I sort of jokingly tell my friends have changed my brain chemistry. Uh, Howl's Moving Castle is one of those things. The other thing is Spirited Away. There's some more stuff that I can't really... The Last Unicorn, that's one thing. That impacted me as a small child. This is added to the list. I will say this took me a while to read. I read like the first third of it all in one sitting and then like the next third of it all in one sitting and then I read the last third of it last night over the span of a couple of months just because I have a hard time getting into reading these days. I am a changed person. Okay, I'm gonna find space for this somewhere back there because that is my display shelf, obviously. I had something else to say. I'm gonna write the fantasy romance today partially because I'm pissed about a different fantasy romance book I read that was atrocious and also because I read this and now I am inspired to be a better writer. I'm in a weird mood today. I got more social media to do for the Kickstarter and I'm gonna write some stuff. Okay. It's Wednesday, August 16th. Here's the thing. I haven't written much. I've written barely anything this month at all. I thought that sort of after I finished In Dying Starlight, I was going to be fine in a couple days slash weeks and, and that it would be easier to move on to other things. And it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I'm struggling a little bit trying to get back into anything. I like the fantasy romance a lot, like I mentioned. It, I've got 35,000 words of this written. I'm a little bit stuck on the scene I'm in, but I don't really think that's the main issue. I'm definitely still stuck on Thistle. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. So I kind of don't even want to think about Thistle right now. That's my mood today, and I haven't for a couple of weeks wanted to think about it. On one hand, I want to keep posting it and I want to publish it, but I, don't, I also just don't. That's kind of a heavy book to write, and it's difficult to begin with, and difficult on top of I'm sad about in Dying Starlight is not very easy, so it's probably going to be the fantasy romance for right now. I have still been getting some good ideas for this and for some other things. I have I have thought up a random other fantasy romance I'm going to write, and I have a few notes about it. This might not be a very interesting vlog because I am on the struggle bus right now, and I don't know when I'm gonna get off. Focusing on the Kickstarter, we're doing really well on the Kickstarter, you guys. I'm struggling with the writing. I wanna, I was, I, I really enjoyed writing the first third of this book and I know that I'm, I still enjoyed the idea and the concept. I wanna write it. I'm just, I don't know. I think it's a mixture of In Dying Starlight and I was having some minor health stuff that was stressing me out and that's mostly solved now. So maybe I, I just, I gotta chill out and write this. So not much of an update. I really wanna finish this book. I really want to finish it this month. Probably won't finish it this month, but I really want to finish this book. I just need to try to relax, not stress about it, and just go back to having fun writing stuff. Eventually, I'm sure I'll get over in Dying Starlight, but it is not this day. That's my very non-exciting update. Okay. Monday, August 21st. This writing vlog is not gonna be very interesting. I know I said that already, but it, it really truly isn't because I think I'm just kind of burnt out. I wanted to think that I wasn't and uh, my friends and also my dad have informed me that they all think I am. And they're probably right. So I haven't done much since whenever I last updated you. I have done nothing. I Well, I'm working on the Kickstarter. So this is just kind of going to turn into a productivity, trying to get back on track vlog. A little summer's goals for finishing the fantasy romance did not happen. But in my defense, I thought it was going to be a novella. So what I'm doing today is I'm doing social media, TikTok, Instagram. I posted a vlog this morning. I filmed a video right before this. And of course this video, I finished the line edits for the see at the end of everything this morning. So I'm going to go into InDesign and start formatting that. I also have to work on an illustration for the see at the end of everything. And I've got a cover I'm doing for a friend. So that's what we're doing. I also need to set up the see at the end of everything on Amazon so that I can uh, start on the audiobook. You gotta have a book up on pre-order on Amazon to use ACX. So gotta get that done. I should probably write that down. So that's what we're at. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna do some social media and eat and then format the see at the end of everything. This is not a real update, but it's Thursday, August 24th, and I want you to know that what fixed my problem with Thistle, it didn't really fix it. I was wanting to write it, but then every time I opened the document and looked at it, I was like, eh, it's too much, I don't want to, I can't do this. You wanna know 
how I'm enjoying it again. Do you want to know? Do you? I changed the font. Why are brains the way that they are? Don't know. Anyway, I'm back to working on Thistle. All right, so it's Thursday, August 31st. It's the last day of the month. This was not much of a writing vlog, was it? <laughs> I am just going to wrap it up here, though, because um, tomorrow is the 1st of September, and I have plans for being more productive. So we're going to start a fresh vlog, a fresh month, and I don't even remember most of what I said in this. I did do a lot of stuff, but almost all of it was the Kickstarter. I wrote only about 2,000 words this month. I did some editing on Thistle, but... Yeah. Basically next month I want to finish the rough draft of the fantasy romance and edit Thistle enough to start posting it again. That's pretty much where I'm at. I'm going to be still drowning in Kickstarter stuff to do. We're actually gonna get some words done next month because we sure as heck didn't do it this month. I did finally get the proof from Amazon. I got a proof of the hardcover from Book Vault and the proof of the paperback is still pending in Ingram Spark because they made my images way too dark in the PDF version, so I had to resubmit it. It can never go well with Ingram Spark. So we're gonna end the vlog and we're gonna go into a more productive month, well, a more productive writing-wise month in September. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, giving it a thumbs up and a subscribe really helps out my channel. You can get the C at the end of everything now. You can either get it through Backer Kit or you can pre-order on Amazon and all the other venues. Under the Earth Over the Sky, In Dying Starlight, and all my other books are linked below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!